Ah, it's the time of year again. Scary story time. I read a portion. You guys can continue the rest then back to me. I'll start. Does anybody remember that one anime cartoon series Tamagotchi? Considering some of you watched Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, and especially Pokemon. It was cute, fun, yet a great show, as it has some memorable characters like Mamachi, for example. I remember watching it when I was at Australia when it used to air it on TV network Go. Some people don't know about Tamagotchi, as they know it has it became a virtual pet back in 1996. However, I just received the worst experience from something that I somehow witnessed. Next person please. I know, I know. Just because you saw my encounters with the lost THX Tex trailers that featured the brave little toaster and chicken little characters all murdered by Tex and his new sidekick from the Tex vs the Robot trailer Bob the Drone, doesn't mean that's the only thing I discovered from Adam Cannington's stupid creations before he got revenge on the THX company who fired him by creating the seventh lost THX Tex trailer. This is where I discovered something totally unexpected and horrible than the other two trailers I saw. I was busy doing things on my computer like normal, as I decide to look at the THX website for those lost THX trailers that Tex was in. As I went to the lost trailers option, it has almost every single trailer including the R-rated versions of the THX trailers that Rowan, Brain, MC Chase, including myself and the others saw. I did see the two lost trailers that had the brave little toaster and chicken little characters in them. However, there was one trailer that no one discovered, yet I was the first one to notice it. The one lost THX text trailer that I didn't see yet was unexpected. The picture of the trailer was a Tamagotchi and THX crossover, as it contains the characters, except for Love Lai Chi, from the series, Mamechi, Mamechi, Kuchapachi, Kuro Mamechi. Haim Spechi, Space Ichi, Aka Spechi, and Pippa Spechi altogether feeling nervous and afraid, but not Kuro Mamechi as he felt suspicious. Sure he doesn't have any facial expressions on anything as he sometimes feels neutral in any sort of way, and Tex was seemingly noticeable in the background behind them. I was very confused and puzzled at what I'm looking at. What? How did they know my favorite anime cartoon was in another THX trailer? I somehow shrugged it off and downloaded the file 7 seconds later. I still get the feeling that Adam Kennington might make this trailer just to ruin my childhood again. I clicked on the video and it started playing for 5 seconds on a black background. After 5 seconds a warning came up again and said this. This trailer was made to promote the movie Quarantine, 2008, despite not being THX certified, and it contains unsettling imagery, and graphic violence as it is not suitable for children. Please watch at your own risk. Oh great, I said, face pumming. I hope it's not as scary than the other two trailers I saw. Also when I noticed the text saying the trailer was made to promote quarantine, I think I seen that found footage film before when I was 14. The trailer started with a wide shot of the THX logo from the Mookin trailer once again in a dark background, which is strange because Tex wasn't present at the start as he was seen at the beginning of the Brave Little Toaster and Monster House trailers. Then after 5 seconds, Mamechi, Mamechi, Kuchpachi, and Kuro Mamechi walked into the shot and looked around. This is some kind of ruins, said Mamechi feeling curious as she said a line from one of the episodes. Actually, this is where the evil robot lives at. Hopefully we'll be fine as long as he's not here to hurt us like the others who came to this place. Mamechi said, as he pointed to the THX logo. Kapachi began to feel scared as he was about to hyperventilate. I don't know about this Kai, I feel like that robot works for Spasachi. I don't think we are supposed to be here Kai. Kuro Mamechi then interrupted. Calm down you green glob, he said, trying to reassure him. I know that we might get hunted down by that red robot, but don't worry, Mamechi invented the door that teleports us to other universes. I'm sure we'll be back at Tamagotchi Planet until we find some evidence in this hideout. Hopefully that guy doesn't know where we lee. His sentence was then interrupted by an evil chuckle being heard in the distance. And they all begin to feel worried. Do you guys hear something? Said Mamechi. Mamechi, remember what Kuro Mamechi said. We're all gonna be alright, said Mamechi. Then they heard the sound of a jetpack from a familiar figure flying over in the distance. And unlike the fourth last trailer Brian saw, I hear the same dark and distorted voice which said the same line as it once again made a reference to bend round. You shouldn't have done that. 
Kunchipachi suddenly spoke as he felt more afraid than ever as he heard the voice in the distance. I think Mamechi is right. I heard that Chi. Just then, after three seconds, Tex appeared out of nowhere, scaring Mamechi once he landed right in front of him. Nice to meet you four unlucky Sparkus. Tex said. Tex. Mamechi shouted, Excuse me sir, we are not Sparkies. Mamechi remarked, as she was offended by that comment. So tell me, what are you all doing here? Tex asked. Mamrachi and Kuro Mamrachi began to talk and glared angrily at him, as Mamrachi came back up on his feet. Listen here mister. I heard they killed tons of innocent people, including those animated characters because they were afraid of you and your logo and especially your company. That is wrong, and no excuse to murder somebody. Plus, we heard that you work with Zerg, Randall and your little drone sidekick buddy of yours, as they help you kill those living toys, three monsters, a little girl along with those living appliances that belong to their master, and a chicken along with his friends who came to this place, Mamechi said in anger, as he reminded me of the four lost trailers Rohan and I remember seeing a long time ago. And I'm assuming you're working with someone else who wanted to take over Tamagotchi Planet as well. I agree with Mamechi, Kuro Mamechi said as he crossed his arms around. And if you're going to keep this up, We'll have you reported to the authorities as long as we have enough evidence to expose you and the others. Tex then chuckled at the two and said, Do you think that I could stop killing those people who disrespect me and my company? Well, I don't think so. By the way, yes, I'm taking over your planet once I kill you all. Oh, and I also killed your cute bunny friend before I met you all. Tex then grabbed out the head of Lovelachi as she was already dead. Matchup asked if she saw what Tex said. Sure Lovely Chip didn't appear in the beginning of the trailer along with the others, but I'm sure she didn't, didn't do anything wrong to Tex, as she was afraid of the logo. Kuchipachi became very angry and began to run into Tex knocking him out for 5 seconds by doing his belly down attack at him, similar to how Run did in the chicken little trailer I saw as he knocked out Tex by running into him as he was about to use his chainsaw on chicken little. Tex came back up and went over to Kuchipachi. Chipachi startled as the former came back up to attack him. So, are you scared of me because you were afraid of my logo way back then? Tex asked. Well, here's something that you might like besides seeing myself. Tex then pulled out an air pump instead of his chainsaw. An air pump? Is that what you're gonna kill me with, Chi? Cause Chipachi said, as he started laughing. Tex growled as he plugged the air pump suction to cut Chipachi's mouth. Kuchipachi suddenly realized that he was about to be killed by Tex. Tex then started his air pump as Kuchipachi turned into a giant balloon as his body was strong and stretchy as I remember. After Tex turned Kuchipachi's body into a balloon, Tex then uses a needle to pop Kuchipachi's stomach area, and the green glob began to deflate as he started flying around the hideout. Help me see Chai, Kuchipachi cried, as he went fully deflated and disappeared into the X's trap door from the THX logo. Mamechi? Mechi, and Kurama Mechi gasped in shock while Tex chuckled again. Oh I'm sorry you three, but your chubby boy is gone for good, Tex said as grinned at them. Now which one of you guys should the team and kill next? Come on, I can do better than that. Mechi shouted as she began to charge at Tex. Sure you can, but I don't think you will. Tex asked as he grabbed the logo's cable from the trap door. What do you mean? said Mamechi. Tex didn't answer as he pulled out the logo's cable and strangled Mamechi's legs which made her fall over. No. You can't do this to me, Mamechi yelled as her legs were being tugged by the cable. Whatever. It's best for you think about your green stretchy friend of yours. Tex remarked, laughing stupidly. He then pulled Mamechi into the logo's trapdoor as she became to scream. Mamechi gasped in horror as Tex finally pulled her all the way into the logo leading her to death with Kuchipachi fully deflated in the same room full of corpses as seen in the 2007 Halloween trailer. Also that part makes sense why the trailer was promoting quarantine as Mamechi was being pulled away reminded me of Angela getting pulled away at the end of the movie. Oh no, Kuro Mamechi whispered as Tex closed the trap door. Kuro Mamechi we gotta get back to Tamagotchi planet. There's no time to find the evidence in this scary place, Mamechi yelled. And the duo ran off to the door where it leads back to Tamagotchi Planet, escaping from Tex as he then notices them running away from his hideout. Hey! Where are you going? Don't run away from the T-Man! Tex called out as he was about to bring out his chainsaw. 
but it was not until Kuromanichi suddenly threw his soccer ball at his robotic crotch. Tex then screamed in pain for five seconds, while Kuromanichi and Manichi continued running away from him. And the former growled in anger as he picked up his chainsaw and starts chasing after them. Mamichi and Kuromamichi were about to make their escape from Tex as they almost head back to Tamagotchi Planet. But as soon as Kuromamichi was about to make it the door, he was then hit on the back of his body by the engine of Tex's chainsaw as he fell to the ground. Mamichi suddenly gasped as he saw his friend being injured by the collusion impact by the chainsaw. My back, Kuromamichi said, as he couldn't move anymore because of his back broken by Tex's chainsaw. Also the line he said was a reference to Spider-Man 2, when Peter Parker tries to believe he's back in that one part of the movie. Anyways, Tex came up to Kuro Mamechi and picked up his chainsaw. Mamechi, please escape alone and go on without me. I'll always remember you. Kuro Mamechi sat motionlessly as Tex picked up his chainsaw again. Let's make Kuro MC nuggets with sexy Texies burgers and french fries. Tex exclaimed as he started his chainsaw on Kuromamechi. Kuromamechi started screaming in agony as he let out the banshee scream as his neck was being cut off by the chainsaw. Mamechi didn't look back as he ran away and came back to Tamagotchi Planet. After Tex killed Kuromamechi, he went into Tamagotchi Planet as Mamechi didn't close the door while he was running away from him. Mamechi continued running away from Tex, trying to find a building that he could hide. Once he hid, Tex can be seen flying around the town as he looked for Mamechi. Oh yellow boy, where are you? Tex called out in a sing-song voice. Mamechi then noticed Thomas School is in a far distance away from the town. So he runs over the school as Tex continues looking for him around the town. Heim Spechi, Space Ichi, Oka Spechi, and Pippa Spechi notice Mamechi running over to them as he was nearly out of breath from running. It cuts back to Tex still looking for Mamechi as he looked through every single building where he could possibly be. Tex then groaned as he waited long enough to find him. And unlike the fifth lost THX trailer someone else encountered, Tex pulled his rocket launcher from his tool belt and starts firing in every single building trying to find Mamechi. It then cuts back to Mamechi and the others as he was talking about Tex trying to kill him. Ha, there's no red robots in this planet, it's only just your imagination. Spasichi said as he laughed in a unique way. Bipospechi then notices Tex shooting his rocket launcher in the background destroying every building he sees. He then taps on Space Ichi's shoulder trying to get his attention while speaking the noises of a Japanese onomatopoeia for the sound of a computer as heard in the show. Then it cuts to a TV screen from outside of Tamax TV. Everyone from Tamagotchi Planet saw Report Chi from the Tamagotchi movie, now as Love Lichi's replacement since she was already killed by Tex, on the giant screen as they heard Tex's rocket launcher. This just in, there appears to be an evil robot roaming around Tamagotchi Planet, destroying every building and causing so much destruction. Please evacuate immediately as this situation is very dangerous. Repair Chi said, as he then saw Tex holding his rocket launcher at him as he started firing at the building he was in. Report she screamed as a rocket from Tex came straight towards him. Tamichi, Achi, and the rest of the crew members who were filming Report she also screamed and then finally died by the explosion of the rocket as the screen turns to static, and the entire building falls down to the ground. After seeing what happened to everyone who were into Max TV, including Gachaman as well, the townspeople began to start screaming in panic as they run away from Tex. Tex then noticed Mamechi in a far distance with Himes Pechi, Space Echi, Akas Pechi, and Pippa's Pechi at Tama School in his point of view. He starts to think for a few seconds but then looks down at the people who were running away from him. Tex then thought of something. Huh? If I can kill those people who lived on this planet first, that'll give the yellow boy a surprise for disrespecting my logo once I'll get to him and his other friends next. Ha, huh? I'm such a genius. As the screen cuts back at Tama's School, Ma Mechi, Haim Spechi, and Pippa Spechi saw the people who were still running away from Tex. Space Ichi and Akaspechi didn't notice the chaos until Pippa Spechi finally gives them their attention. What's wrong? Specky just said as Pippa Spechi pointed to Tex who was flying over the people who were screaming and running around. Is that the scary red robot you were talking about? Akaspechi asked, as he was already feeling scared. Yes. That's what I'm talking about, Mamechi cried as he pointed to Tex as he started to murder every single person in his way with every weapon he used from his tool belt as the blood splatters went everywhere once the people died. 
including Gozarochi, Kikichi, Uwasachi, Melodichi, and even Ms. Perfect as well. And, oh god, he looked berserk, as he had blood stains all over his body when he started to kill every person in his sight while grinning evilly. I expect she cast in shock that she saw Tex killing the poor people in his way. Quick everyone, get inside, Mametsu yelled, as the Spacey brothers, even Heimspechi went inside the building. But before Mametsu was about head inside with the others, he was then suddenly grabbed by Tex which teleported behind him after he killed almost everyone in Tamagotchi Planet. Looks like I have a few more victims to kill, and now you're next, Tex said, grinning evilly as he washed all of the blood stains of his body. Tex then flew all the way to the top of the school carrying Mametsu with him as he began to scream as they went in the air. As Haim Spechi looked out the window to see what is happening outside. Tex landed on the top of the building while holding Mamechi in his grasp. Well kid, this is your last day on Earth. If you are afraid of me when you were younger, then you shouldn't come to my hideout. Tex remarked. This is what happens when people don't like you as they're afraid of your company, Mamechi yelled. Now, please put me down properly this instant. Did you just raz me? Nope. Bedtime. We'll continue tomorrow night. The following evening. Well, I'll continue. Tex chuckled for five seconds and said, Very well then. Your wish is my command. And he dropped Mamacha at a vertical drop. Mamacha let out a childified version of the infamous gut wenching how he screamed as he fell all the way down landing on the ground. As Mamachi made contact with the ground at the entrance of the school, his body then exploded except for his head still intact, as his mouth was agape and his pupils were missing as he widened them. Harms Petsy shrieked in horror as he saw the head of her love interest finally go. She ran outside to see if he was okay, as Tex went inside Thomas School to kill the Spacey brothers. Spacey began to feel scared more than a cast Petsy and said, It's the end for us boys, we're now dead. I don't want to end up being murdered like they did. Akaspechi responded as he started crying. Pibispechi cried too as he hugged Spacechi, but his sobbing noises were rather real instead of faking it. I know Pipo, I love you too. Spacechi replied. Without Heimspechi helping us because of her relationship with Mamechi, we're now done for, as we can't take over Tamagotchi planet. After that, Tex appeared and landed right in front of them. The Spacey brothers were shocked to see him appear out of nowhere. The screen cuts back to Haim Spechi looking over Momechi's lifeless head. She looked at the Spacey brothers as they were about to be killed by Tex and looked at Momechi's dead body as she can't decide what to do. What should I do? She said as she began to panic. I can't just stand here and do nothing. Tex began to slowly approach Spacechi, Okaspechi, and Pippaspechi and asked them. You're now my last victims to kill, because you disrespected my logo. Tex said. He then pulled out a flamethrower, as it came from Team Fortress 2, from his tool belt, as seen in the rare THX trailer made by DreamWorks from the DreamWorks DVD box set. It's my turn to take over Tamagotchi Planet. The Spacey brothers began to whimper as Tex was about to kill them. It once again cuts back to Himes Pechi picking up Mamechi's head. She then saw Mamechi's invention as it leads to Tex's hideout. And the girl runs over to the door that was open from earlier. Just as she was about to close the door as she was about to evacuate from Texas he was still inside of the school, Himes Petchy looked at the Spacey brothers one last time, as she can save them. Tex then dropped his flamethrower on the ground and said, You know what, forgot it, you guys are good to go. Spacey G, Akas Petchy, and Pippus Petchy sighed in relief and walked out of the school. But as soon as they were about to, Tex then remarked at them, Psych. Just kidding. I'm still gonna kill you. The team N is about destroy the school to the ground, Tex yelled, as he throwed a pipe bomb in front of Space Itchy as they were about to walk out. Tex then fly out of the school laughing maniacally so he doesn't get engulfed in flames. Specky, Chi, Akar Specky, and Pippa Specky screamed as the pipe bomb started. The screen cuts back to Heim Specky as she was about to close the door while she looked at Specky Chi for the final time. Maybe it's for the best. Heim Spechi said as she started crying realistic tears out of her eyes, feeling heartbroken for him. Seeing Heim Spechi crying in real tears really made me feel bad for her, as that part reminded me of T-800's death in Terminator 2, Judgment Day. 
Heimspechi closed the door and ran off into the darkness taking Momechi's head with her without looking back at Tama school about to be blown up in flames, as she became the only Tamagotchi that ever survived from Tex's wrath. The screen then finally cuts back to the outside shot of the school. Just as the pipe bomb finally reaches the last second, the entire school then exploded leaving the Spacey brothers inside as they were all killed from the impact. The destroyed building then became the shape of the THX logo just like in the final THX text trailer that Rowan saw. Only that the logo's animation was still from the American trailer, and the fire started spreading around the building. And of course, the screaming deep note from the other lost trailers played again. As I heard the same blood-curdling scream from Slendy Tubbies in the background being slowed down at the same speed as the logo's deep note. Unlike the lost Brave Little Toaster and Chicken Little THX trailers I saw, it was a mixture people screams along with woman screams and now has various Tamagotchi characters screaming including those of Mamachi, Mamachi, Kachapachi, Kuromamachi, Love Lychi, Space Echi, Akaspechi, and Pippa Spechi's cries, mostly common with Mamachi's screams and Heimspechi's cries. I covered my ears, as I realized it was way too loud for me. The screaming deep note played for 15 seconds until it stopped. I then uncovered my ears but then noticed there was a bit of blood on my hands. Dang it, I said. I paused the trailer and went to the bathroom to clean my ears with a tissue. Once I cleaned out my ears and hands, I went back to watch the trailer as it reaches its ending point. Tex then dropped down for the third time and looked at the audience while grinning stupidly. Hello Tamagotchi fans, the team man has done something that no other robot has done before. He has killed all of your favorite characters on Tamagotchi Planet, all because they were afraid of me and my logo. Tex said. And he did his warning once again. So remember the golden rule TV viewers. If you are afraid of me and my company, Texie will find your country, your town, the location of where you live, and I will kill you until you died. Sweet dreams, sleep tight and goodbye. Tex then flew away into the sky, laughing manically. It showed the destroyed school on fire for six seconds until it faded to black. Then the old THX slogan the audience is listening appear on screen. As the text was displayed for a few seconds, Heimspechi appeared on screen for the final time still holding Momechi's head in her arms as she walked into the shot. Don't worry Momechi, I'll try to save you, once I find someone who can fix you, she said, and she walked off screen. The text then disappeared after Heimspechi left. The trailer finally then ended. I was appalled at what happened in the trailer. And I felt really sorry for Heimspech as she was too scared to save the Specy per others from Tex. I was about to delete the file, but as soon I was about to, I was expecting a jump scare to come up on screen like the other trailers I saw. So I put my hands over my eyes, bracing for impact. But after 15 seconds, nothing came up on screen. I opened my eyes to see something pop up, but thankfully there was no jump scare. I then sighed in relief as I put my hands down after 15 seconds. I was pretty lucky that there was no jump scare. However, after 5 seconds as I put my hands down, boy I was wrong. Once the image came up, it was really scary and it would always wake me up in the middle of the night every time I see it. It was an edited shot of Ma Mechi at the end of the episode Daichi. Giant Kuchapachi vs Mecha Kuchapachi. What makes him terrifying is that he black eyes, red pupils, and he was crying blood while some of it came out of his sockets. However the scream in the background wasn't the childified version of the infamous gut wrenching Howie scream from earlier, but it was coming from Angela as she was dragged away off screen at the end of quarantine. That image scared the living crap out of me, as I covered my ears again as it was 50% loud for me. After the frightening image of Manrachia faded out, a caption appeared and said animated by Adam Kennington in 2008. Kennington. I growled. I should have known it by now, as he created the other Lost THX trailers that I saw. The trailer then ended for real after the text faded out. Instead of deleting it, I decide to keep the file with me as I thought of making a YouTube video about it. So after I did, it has reached over 12 million views. I looked at that comments that I saw and decide to look at some of them. Here some of the comments I found. Oh bother. That's even scarier than the Skelosaurus Owl was talking about. That was scary alright, really scary for private, but I'm sure that man has some serious problems who created that trailer. You discovered another lost THX trailer that featured Tamagotchi characters in it? 
Good for you. Though I felt very sorry for your experience. That was really scary. I felt like I'm gonna cry just like him as bitchy. I felt sorry for Himes bitchy. I hope she can get someone to help her stop that crazy robot. Oh my gosh. How horrible. Just as I thought those scary timber wolves weren't bad enough for me. I'm really sorry for your experience. I just hope his brother Dex won't be evolved in the next trailer like last time I saw it when I saw him in Texas for the first time. However, the one comment I hearted was from THX themselves. Here's what they said. Where on earth did you find this trailer? Look, we added the Lost Amagachi THX trailer on our website because it was before Adam Kennington got fired after making his contest trailer for the Make Your Own THX trailer contest in 2006 and got revenge on us for the seventh Lost trailer Rowan discovered. Sure, he's a sick man alright, though we are really sorry about your experience over the trailer. Same thing with the Brave Little Toaster and Chicken Little trailers you saw. Hopefully you will forget about it soon as you think about doing other stuff. I replied to THX with a thank you comment, as 30 seconds later they replied back to me saying you're welcome. Comment. That was the scariest THX trailer I ever saw in my life. The dark atmosphere, the screaming, the way the deaths went, the heartbroken moment of Heim Speche over Mamacha and Speche's death, and all of it is what made the trailer the worst one out of the other two trailers I saw in my life. I couldn't sleep for two weeks because of the trailer I saw. Every time I closed my eyes, I saw Mamech's face at the end. The next day, I started to watch Pokemon Journeys on my TV, instead of watching anything related to Tamagotchi. I'll never watch Tamagotchi the same way again. Maybe one day I will forget about the trailer until I get the sound of Kuramamechi screaming in agony as his neck was being sliced off by Texas Chainsaw while he laughed evilly. After all, Adam Kennington. James Winterstone, and the others are responsible for this disaster. Please stay away from those lost trailers that are anything related to THX or any other show from your childhood. Please do, or else you know what happens once you discovered it. The end finally. Well, it's about time we deserve a bathroom break before dinner, Rabbit. Of course, it's nice to join you all on a guy's trip in Dragon Root. I love it. And we only read one story in two days. Let's go to the bathroom before dinner. And for those watching, we won't be shown using the bathrooms due to a cease and desist letter from Dave Madsen and Miss Madsen because it will make Mary sick. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.